All right, so this is the uh, third in the series here of the uh, Drobo 5N installation. Started with the unboxing, then we went to the installation of this uh, Drobo dashboard. I then went downstairs uh, during the intermission here between two and three, videos two and three, and plugged the Drobo into the network and uh, took about 10 minutes for it to uh, work its magic on the three terabyte uh, drives that are in it, show up on the network, and say it's ready to go. As you can see uh, here, uh, you can if you have multiple Drobos, you'd see them uh, listed here. Right now, I've only got the one, so we'll double click on that. You can see the system information. You can see I've got the, the three two terabyte drives are in a green status. Everything is good to go. You can see the capacity from the six total uh, terabytes I've got in there after it did its uh, striping for the redundancy. Uh, set up the RAID configuration. I have got 3.6 uh, terabytes left. Uh, this 435 megs is apparently the software that's installed on the Drobo uh, when it comes for its own administration and tools and those kinds of things that we're seeing on the screen here. <clears throat> the other uh, thing I've already set up here is a couple of shares. Uh, it came with a public uh, share already set up. I set up music and photos. We can uh, go ahead and set up another one. You can see the shares are on the left hand side, public, photos, music. You can see users. I created a user called T Renshaw, that's me. And I've already given myself uh, access to uh, obviously the public, the photos, and the music. You can see the icon down here says that I have read write access to the three shares. That makes perfect sense to me. Let's go ahead and set up another share. Um, we'll call this videos. I don't uh, use Apple Mac products, so I don't have a time machine, so I don't need to support that on this share. So go ahead and set up the share. Now you can see I have the videos share, and now I can assign, well, who do I want to be able to uh, have access to it? Well, I want T. Renshaw to have access to it. And I want him to not just have read only, I want to have read write. So now I have read write, submit that, and I'm good to go. Music, photos, public videos, and we can indeed look over here on my network settings that I do have uh, the Drobo on my network. And voila, here are the uh, shares music photos and videos that I set up, Drobo apps and public are its own and I can of course go ahead now and uh, map those for my own usage. Music should be M, I think that makes sense. Reconnect login and we're good. All right, so uh, you can do all kinds of uh, other settings Got uh, your general look here and how you want to have dual disk redundancy. I don't need that. I like the RAID setup that it's got. I don't need to uh, uh, get this extra setting, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Looks like I can dim the lights on the Drobo. Don't really need to do that right now. Uh, network. Uh, you can see that I can change the name on the network, but Drobo 5N works for me. Uh, work group is fine. I can change whether or not I want to assign it an IP address. I'm just going to leave it DHCP for now keep myself out of trouble. And let's see what else we got here. Admin, well I've got my admin account and my password I've already set there. And then alerts, you can configure if you want to have yourself emailed alerts. So uh, I may set that up in the future, I'm not going to bother with that on this video. But I'm good to go, that's pretty much the basics of it. It's about as uh, simple as they said it was going to be. Uh, plug the drives in, install the dashboard, put the device on the network, it showed up, I can set up shares, I can set up users, assign who can see what, do what, where, and uh, that's about it. I'll uh, do some follow-ups as I get more day-to-day uh, -day use out of the Drobo 5N and let you know how it's working and if it's doing all the things that I had hoped and intended to do with it. Hope this has been a helpful video. Thanks for your time, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping by theprotechcoach.com.